this technology isn't quite ready yet for rough weather or even populated areas. You know, right now we're just testing to see how it'll work. And that's why the plan right now is to only use autonomous drones in rural areas like here in eastern Hillsborough County, where there's fewer hazards and people and deliveries are more spread out and take longer. Rural is the most expensive way to deliver, right? The distances are the furthest. A company called Workhorse is making the drones for UPS. The drone will basically work as the driver's helper. Designing them to launch off the roof of their new electric delivery trucks. The roof slides open and from the inside, the drone route is controlled by a touchscreen. The driver would be stopping to make a delivery and then the drone will then fly to go make another delivery. The driver would then go and move to another location and while they're doing other deliveries, the drone will come back and rendezvous with the driver back there at that location. The process could save drivers a lot of time. That is probably the most efficient delivery machine ever made. But even when the technology is ready. And it's such a complex airspace. It won't be all clear skies for the drones, which right now are FAA regulated to fly below 400 feet. Law enforcement helicopters that fly at just 100 feet above that. Some kind of glitch between the remote control and the drone and all of a sudden that thing shoots up and it can cause a, a huge, huge ordeal. Experienced pilot Stu O'Shannon also worries what happens when the drones are one day allowed to fly out of sight. Beyond line of sight, I can't see perhaps wires or uh, other aircraft that may be that I may incur. UPS promises it won't use the drones unless they're safe. As of right now, the FAA regulations still prevent someone from flying a drone out of sight without a special exception. And right now there's no timeline to change those regulations. In Hillsborough County, I'm Adam Weiner for the NOW Tampa Bay.